Hello everybody. Well, this is a special video request for uh, Viper Gaming DB. He basically wanted to uh, see some forging and some blacksmithing done on uh, basically making some small objects uh, with some heated up metal. And uh, I figured we'd uh, have a bit of a crack at it. Um, I don't actually have a decent uh, forge or the proper tools to uh, really do this correctly, but I just figured we'd uh, have a go with what I've got. I mean, just using the old propane torch as our, uh, our forge heater, and uh, the old vice does good as the anvil, which is technically what the, uh, the flat plate is on the top. That's what it's uh, good for, so I um, yeah, figured we'd have a bit of a go at it. Uh, remember basic uh, common sense and safety with this sort of stuff, uh, safety glasses, and uh, leather gloves, and also a uh, decent fume extractor if you're doing it inside to uh, get rid of the um, carbon monoxide because you don't really want to breathe too much of that in. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this piece of steel up, uh, flatten the end out into a blade shape, and then I'm going to uh, show you how to oil quench it as well, which is about the easiest thing you can do, and it's also a very useful uh, technique. So we'll start by lighting up our torch. It's got one of those safety locks on it. Just let that warm up. And then basically just put your piece of steel right in it. I mean I will eventually get around to building a proper uh, coffee can forge. But until I can find a decent sized can to do that with, it'll just be with this. This may take a while to heat it up. I will uh, probably fast forward through this once I get it warmed up. I really need oxy acetylene for this. This is that is what I uh, normally use at school. There we go. We're starting to go now. Well, guys, unfortunately, the uh propane torch just was not getting our steel hot enough to be able to properly uh, flatten that end down but I did come up with plan B good old high current low voltage transformer that's just a microwave oven transformer I've rewound it for uh, with about one turn of um, utility line cable and it heats this up pretty damn well so that's what we're going to be using now Basically, just turn it on. You won't hear it run at all, but you just touch one there. If you can see that, touch the other there. This gets quite hot, so do the cables. And yeah, you get the idea. Just touch it on and heat it up. I hope my hand's not in the way of that. I call that an electric forge. And quickly beat that end down and then do it do it again. And that don't know how well we can see that, but that's working really well. Probably get a little bit flatter than that. Um Again, the cable gets really hot, so I don't want to go too long. But that's working really well now. And that'll probably do it. And I'll just uh, grind that down, then we'll heat it up again with this. And oil quench it and harden it, make a nice little tool out of it. Okay, now what we can do, uh, with this very dangerous thing I made a long time ago, is... Grind a nice edge on the steel. It's still a bit hot. Might put a 
look like on. It will shut itself off after a while if I keep loading up too much. Because remember, it's a computer hard drive for it and it's a bench grinder essentially. Yes, yeah, there is a video on when I made this, by the way. will be a fast forward jobby as well. Okay, if you can see that, I have a nice little ledge on that, make a nice little uh, chisel type tool. Is the camera going to focus or is it just going to misbehave again? No. So yeah, I've just ground a nice little ledge on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the transformer again, I'm going to get that red hot and then I'm going to oil quench it. I'm going to stick it in a uh, can of oil and that will basically impregnate uh, carbon into the heated area causing it to harden up and stop because the carbon slots between the steel molecules and stops them from sliding around that's what hardened steel is essentially or high carbon steel so that's what we're going to do okay so transformers back and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up like you saw before and then I'm going to quench it in this can of old uh, compressor oil you can use motor oil, doesn't matter what type it is, as long as it's not flammable. And basically I just heat that up, stick it in there, it will smoke, and that should hopefully harden this. So, transformer on. One there. Oops. Gonna heat the whole thing up like that. Just get that nice and hot. And then I hope you can see that. My dodgy camera work again. But that should hopefully be hardened. Then I'll get the grinder out again and we'll uh, put a bit more of an edge on it. And hopefully we'll have ourselves a nice little chisel type tool. But as you saw it's changed the colour of it again. Mmm, smells nice. <laughs> Compressor oil, oil always smells good. That's uh, that's how to oil harden. It's very easy. You heat your steel up till it's orange hot. Stick in your oil. You may need to do it a couple of times depending on how uh, how hard you want your steel. But that's all there is to it. Very easy. Let's see how well it works. Just going to give it a little test on a block of wood. Yep. That's probably the world's crudest chisel. As you can see, it works quite nicely. Use it even as a bit of a reamer sort of thing. Just of course, when it starts to get a bit blunt, you just use your grinder and you just grind it flat again. That took me no longer than five minutes to make. I know the video has probably gone for a, a lot longer, but if I wasn't videoing, that would probably take you five, ten minutes at least, just to uh, machine that, grind it down. But uh, it just shows how good um, forging and blacksmithing is. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, hope that answers a few questions and uh, gives you a bit of a look at something different. I know it's uh, coming up close to my 200th video. If not, this one may be my 200th. Sorry, I can't even get my words out straight. So uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more fun stuff.